Hello, Mort here, and on this guide I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Hunter's Long Coat, uh, along with another little selection of other unique items that you can get from the Responder Bot or the Scavenger Trader. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to be showing you guys a really cool tip if you have um, a friend with you, um, or somebody on your friends list that you can continuously go to the same server over and over with, um, on how like you can get it a lot faster. So anyway, let's uh, buckle up and let's get going. Let's rock and roll. All right. So first off, this farming the hunter's long coat and the other stuff from the responder bot, uh, it is going to require a bunch of server hopping. Um, and essentially, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be server hopping um, at the Charleston train station, and um, there I'll show you a couple spots here where you can trigger a random encounter. And there are random encounters all throughout uh, the wasteland, and um, uh, but this particular spot has a chance for this unique uh, responder bot that sells a, a selection of stuff that you can only get from them and also from the scavenger trader, uh, which I will show you later in the video. But essentially, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be coming to the Charleston station, and that is at the bottom of the forest, kind of near the end of the train tracks here. And what you're going to be doing, there's two spots to trigger the random encounter and first spot is going to be you just go a couple lines past little red lines past in here right about there and it's going to spawn a random thingy here uh, there sometimes can be super mutants do chasing the a thingy mabob around to go eat it and stuff and And now these can be triggered by anyone on the server. So let's say a random person had been here in the last five minutes. They could have already triggered it. And the random encounter does not stay for very long. Um, if Let's say if somebody just ran through here and triggered it, it, it's probably gone by now. Somebody must have been here. But anyway, the second spot that you can go to is right up here on the other side. Right at this other bridge. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Over here. And so, just spawned. Let's see what we got to spawn. Normally, when you come over here, yeah, they pop up over here. So, the random encounter that spawned here was a little responder bot. And uh, that's basically it. So, anyway, we're going to be server hopping a whole bunch. And we'll go until we can get one to pop up. And here we go. That was actually pretty quick. All right. So now we have the responder I bought, or responder, the uh, responder bot vendor dude. And all right, so now we're going to be showing you guys the next tip on how to farm this guy. All right, so once we actually have the responder bot here, what we're going to be doing, obviously, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if they have the sweet thing that we got. So nothing special here. So the trick at this point is um, we're going to get some buddies to come and help us. We're going to get our friends to join the server. For now, we'll just use one, one buddy. So essentially what we could do, and I have another video which I can link right here in the description on how NPC vendors work. Um, the, the loot table that this vendor is showing me right now is just mine. These, these items, only I can see these. Anyone else that comes up here is going to see their own set of items. And I will show that as soon as I can get my alt here. So now that we have, once you have a friend here, they can go here and they can also check themselves. And you'll see now that the, the stuff that the, the spawner bot is going to sell is going to be different. So you see here how there is a longshoreman outfit, which is one of the unique things that only 
you know, only them and the scavenger trader will sell. So now we can grab that. And so essentially what we're going to do here, we can have the friend kind of stay here so that the, this guy doesn't despawn. And now we can cycle through with our account and bring our second alt. And we can just go through each one of our alts and um, basically just farm it indefinitely. Just as long as we keep this guy here. Um, and he does like to just keep on walking around. Sometimes if you catch him kind of here, he looks like he's in a good spot where he won't kind of bug out and walk around. He'll kind of just hang out right here, which is good. <laughs> and uh, so now I'll just kind of cycle through all my guys and show you how long it's going to take to get a responder bot to actually sell us a hunter's long coat. Okay, so here I am with my second alt. Now, if you see, once it does load in here, there he is. Once it does load in here, he's gonna have a whole new set of stuff. You know, nothing, nothing new here, but that's fine. It is a completely separate list of stuff that we can get per alt. So I'm gonna cycle to my next guy. see what we get. Alright, so now I'm here with my next alt. I'll give it just a bit to load in here. The dude is still there. There we go. So, nothing new on this guy. So now we'll just keep cycling through our alts. Alright. Here we are with our last one of our five alts. Just a second to load in. Our dude is still kind of got him to bug out in a nice way and just hang out here instead of walking all around. Nice. Alright. So, we got Halloween costumes on this guy. So now, at this point, once you get through your five, I don't know the exact amount of time. Some I don't know if it's five minutes, ten minutes, or whatever, um, but my original alt, my original main guy that I started with, um, if he's off the server for a certain amount of time, um, he can come right back and you could start basically right over and um, do this whole cycle over again and keep farming it basically indefinitely. There have been times when I've um, been, it seems like I've been going a little bit too fast. Load in, check, load in, check, load in, check, where, um, I start seeing like there's only the one thing because I already bought one thing. So sometimes if you start uh, seeing obviously this, the exact same loot, just kind of give it a minute or two before you, you go in there. Try not to be too eager beaver. Um, this works really well if you have a whole group of people and you know everyone's kind of taking their turn. Do, do, do. You know, and you can really farm a lot of these. Anyway, I'm going to keep this little montage going until I can get one. So this is a the fifth time that I've checked. Actually, this will be the sixth time. And uh, we'll keep rock and rolling. And also, once you get to this cycle, um, so on that little first wave, all of my alts are at different places. So now it will be getting a little bit faster, so you might have to slow down just a little bit, because all of my alts are going to be right here. So it's going to be start being wham, bam, 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 bam. Let's let it load in. Let's see what we get. Alright. That might have been the, the same combo. But we're going to try the next one. And let's see what we get. Hunter's Long Coat. Boom, boom, boom. So, that took about um, seven tries. And... 
it's going to be completely different for for you. I'm not saying seven's a good amount of time. I've had it on the very first try. I've had times where it took me 10, 15, a whole bunch of different uh, server hopping to get the actual hunter's long coat to drop. But there we go. So that is basically how to farm it. And uh, I hope you guys have really good luck doing getting it really quickly. And again, you can do this over and over and over. I can keep on cycling through my dudes till the end of time, basically, and get uh, a crap load of these to sell. And uh, so this is the responder bot at Charleston Station here. And I will also show you guys another place that I like to do it at Lost Home. Um, down at the kind of the bottom end of the cranberry bog and I will show you guys the process to doing that as well All right, so I'm here at lost home down at the bottom of a cranberry bog now there are um, a handful of spots where you can actually get the random encounter for the scavenger trader to spawn um, this is just happens to be the one that I've always farmed at. It's a nice little spot. You know that the, the trader's not going to wander off. And there's containers nearby to put the stuff in when I'm farming alt by alt. Um, so anyway, I'm going to cycle through here and see how long it takes to get the uh, encounter to spawn. So this is not it. So we got blood eagles and stuff here. And another thing with this um, spot, there's going to be uh, a handful of different types of responder sorry not responder uh, scavenger traders um, so this one takes a little bit longer sometimes because um, a you have to find a scavenger trader and B you have to find a scavenger trader that's selling the apparel um, but when you do find uh, one that's selling the apparel they're gonna be selling a lot more apparel um, instead of like the responder bot that it's only gonna sell two items um, so at this one I have found um, technically a lot more because I've um, I want to say once I found two hunters long coats in there and um, anyway I'm gonna cycle through here and show just an idea of how long it's taken me on this this time which will be different for for everyone sometimes you might find it on the first time sometimes you might find it on the 20th time anyways coming here this is a different random encounter some scavengers arguing about joining the foundation or creator so anyway let's go and I'm gonna server hop until I can find one. All right, so it appears we have our first scavenger trader, <coughs> and there are different variations of the scavenger trader. So let's see if we get lucky with the right one, and we totally did. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now you can see with the um, this scavenger trader there is a much larger list of stuff that they do sell and um, so the fisherman's overall is unique to them the um, clean uh, clean sorry the straight jacket clean uh, is, is, is also one of these rare to them now from at this point we will continue basically the same method that we do for the um, um, for the responder bot and we're gonna get our alt in here so we can cycle through all right so now that we have our alt here to take care of keeping this hey <laughs> no we got a hundreds long coat on the first try all right so anyhow this is the, it's going to be the exact same method as farming here as it is for farming uh, the responder bot. Um, and they're going to have just a, a much wider selection of actual stuff to buy. Now you can see there's the Great Fisherman outfit, um, the, res the Hunter's Long Coat, the Clean, the clean Straight Jacket. Um, there's going to be a much wider selection of stuff in here. So I personally have better luck farming uh, here as opposed to the responder bot. And uh, yeah, this has been pretty cool. And also, just another tip: when you are uh, vendor hop, or not vendor hop, and when you're when you're server hopping, trying to find the scavenger trader, um, there's going to be different variants of it. One of them is going to sell aid, 
Um, and they do have like the the healing cell for cranberry bog here and other places that you can search for the scavenger trader i believe there's one over here um there is a spot up in the mire which is the same same farming method as here and that one if you do find the one that sells a they'll sell like the healing salve help healing cell for the mire and uh yeah so this is the place that i put particularly like to farm when I'm doing this with my alts because they just have a bigger variety of stuff and uh, yeah so let me know in the comments and if um, you guys have been using this tip and you guys are farming the crap out of it making a whole bunch of caps and uh, if you guys like this please hit like and subscribe and uh, there'll be a link to my discord down there if you guys want to come and hang out and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys out there in the wasteland in these the sexy hunter's long coat.